We all go into business for one reason, and that is to make money. And one of the biggest milestones within any business is getting to that six figure mark or over $100,000 a year. In today's video, I'm going to give you the blueprint for the fastest way to get to $10,000 a month in your business. Now, before we get into the specifics, I want to challenge you to change the way that you view this number. For somebody who hasn't started their business yet or has never made anywhere near $100,000 a year, this can be a bit daunting. However, for an established company who's been in business, who has the right equipment, who knows the processes, they can make $10,000 in one job and not even bat an eyelash. So in order to start changing the way that you think about this number, I want you to say $10,000 is easy. I can do it in one job. And to give you a couple of examples, we recently did this building in less than a week, which was over $20,000. We did this clean and stripe for over $10,000 in a couple days. We washed an entire hospital, which was over $40,000 in a week. And we've done multiple industrial jobs for well over this amount as well. So with that being said, you now know that it's possible. Let's get into the how. If you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, and collecting payments all for free, check out Quote IQ. It'll be linked in the comment section and the description as well. Now, I want to preface my list with the fact that the list is skewed toward landing bigger jobs. Yes, you can make $10,000 a month doing $400 house washes. However, you're going to have to do a lot more house washes than a company who's focused on landing larger commercial accounts. My mindset is let's do less work and make more money. However, 10,000 is 10,000. So if you'd rather break that into 90 residential jobs rather than one big commercial job, then be my guest. But obviously the best thing to do would be to have a healthy mix of commercial and residential. So that way you aren't too heavy in one or the other. There's no way that we would have been able to do any of those jobs of $10,000 or more with any equipment that we purchased from Home Depot or Lowe's. Now that doesn't mean that it's not a good place to get started with your equipment, but I want to make this point that it's incredibly important to reinvest in your equipment as you're making money so that way you can build up to the point where you're capable of doing jobs that are bigger in size. That was probably one of my biggest mistakes that I made early on in my business. I got to the point where I was living off of the money that I was making pressure washing, so there was no room for me to reinvest in my equipment. There was no room when something broke for me to even get it replaced. Placed. So set rules for yourself with regards to the money that you make within your pressure washing business for how much you're going to reinvest in your equipment and how much you're going to reinvest back into your marketing. Now, if you need a recommendation on a good place to get the equipment that you need to do these type of jobs, as well as just the best place in general to get your pressure washing equipment, check out southeastsoftwash.com. I highly recommend their skids and trailers because they're professionally built and they'll give you the ability to do these big types of jobs. 